the next few days will be a frenzy of shopping activity as many people continue to check off their holiday lists, seeking out sales and bargains. But beware, shoppers aren't the only ones looking for opportunities right now. Here with advice on how to make sure you are not a victim of a burglary or a carjacking or worse this holiday season is Detective Sergeant Edwin Pantoja, a 27-year veteran of law enforcement and founder of Force Effects Training. Detective Pantoja, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. What is the psychology of a criminal around this time of year? What sorts of opportunities are they looking for? Well, the key word is opportunity. Mm -hmm. Crime is opportunity. So what, what do we do to create that opportunity to, to put us in the predicament where we could be victimized? Right. And so do you think this time of year people aren't keeping all of these things in mind? They're so busy. They've got a, lot, a million things to do. They put themselves in dangerous situations without realizing it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're focused on getting gifts. We're focused on, you know, on life that's happening at that at very moment. Right. We're not, you know, remembering that there are people out there, predators out there looking for an opportunity to shop. Absolutely. And you have some specific tips when it comes to shopping, especially at a mall. When you're inside a mall and you are, you know, you're focused on the things you got to buy, what should you also be focused on? Well, absolutely, especially the crowded mall. You're running around, your purse is open, especially women. They have how many bags you see open. I see it all the time. We see it all the time. You are exposing your uh, your merchandise, your, your your products, whatever's in there that right. is easy easy access to someone who wants to you know put their get their hands on it. So keep your purses zipped and close to you. And if you're a man, where should you keep your wallet? Well, yeah, normally myself, if I'm in a crowded area, I will take the wallet and I will put it in my front pocket. Some Back people pockets are no-no. Well, it's again, you have to be careful cognizant that someone can bump into you, especially a professional mm -hmm. pickpocket, right. and get you know, access to that. And what about parking lots? How dangerous are they? Where should you park your They're cars? probably the most most dangerous as far as your, your person is concerned. It's one thing to have your items or your, that you've purchased uh, or your wallet stolen. is a whole other uh, story if now you're being, you're being injured. And are you a target if you're walking to your car with lots of expensive shopping bags? Sure. It's also depending on where you park. You know, we right. teach people to tell them, listen, park in areas where, it's, where they're well lit. Park if you can near the door or in upper levels. The upper levels, why? Well, you're, most upper levels you have more pedestrian traffic, and you also uh, typically they're open air, so, so they're not going to be in the that more area. More eyes, the fewer opportunities. That's correct for, for a crime. Now, what if worst case scenario someone approaches you with a weapon, either a gun or a knife? What do you do? Well, again, at that particular moment, again, hopefully if you've remembered to have your keys in your hand, and that you have uh, most alarms now have panic buttons on them. You want to create attention. You right. want to get attention. You want to hit that button, and you want to get some people to start running over and start, start getting help to you because... You but know. if they have two requests, number yes. one, they say, hand over your stuff. You hand it over. Oh, you right? give it. You, you give it give up it. right away. Absolutely. What if they say, get in the car with me? That's one thing I, I'll tell my daughter and my wife. I, you never want to do. Never, ever, ever, ever get inside the car. Yeah, it's, okay. st statistics prove that you're probably not going to make it out of that safely. So you, you're going to want to deal with that situation there. Before you get into the Before car. Before you Absolutely. get into that. Oh, scary stuff, but very good advice and very good to know, De Detective Pentoa. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.